What's going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Wednesday edition of the Pandemic Update for Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the daily pandemic update on all things COVID and any other virus that can be a health threat to you and climate change, which can be a health threat to you and a threat to your life. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up share this video with anyone you know and leave your comments down below all right today you may hear some thunder in the background we do have some storms in the area not much i can do about that i'm late as is with today's update due to noise issues earlier so let's see what we can do for today as we do have quite a few news stories and some data to look at as well and i'm going to start off today with a positive news story pregnant woman with covid19 may be at lower risk for long covid surprised yes i was a little surprised to see this because not very often do we get some positive news in a study 15 percent lower risk of long covid want to read the full study i tweeted it out and i'll make sure it gets to my website datareport.info where i do archive all of the studies or the majority of the studies that i talk about here on video and some other ones which i don't all then talk about as well so it's datareport.info where you can find out about that moving on to this now some not so positive news although positive in the sense that a lot of people may be testing positive over in new zealand right now highest covid virus levels in wastewater since december of 2022 close to 40 people a day were being admitted to the hospital with the disease rnz news uh we did see the update out of new zealand this week that cases went up higher Hey, there goes the thunder now. Taking a look at this here, you can see on the chart here, it is continuing to trend up higher for wastewater. Germany is now in the news today as well. Germany stops requiring COVID-19 vaccinations for members of the military. And moving on to this, Finland, human vaccination for bird flu to start in June of 2024. Which vaccine will be used isn't mentioned in their report, but how about that? Finland already has human vaccinations for bird flu coming just in the upcoming month. All right, whooping cough. We've been talking about it quite a bit lately. we got to talk about it again. Nine cases of whooping cough confirmed at Valley View Schools. And yes, of course, this is in Dayton and Montgomery counties. I believe this is in Ohio. Dayton, Ohio, yes. Dayton Daily News, of course. That would be Ohio. So I thought we would take a look at this. This comes from Iowa COVID-19 Tracker. And we're talking about whooping cough, otherwise known as pertussis. And we're going to take a look here at uh, cases here. And we can see uh, reported cases here, reported data. I believe this is, let's see here. Yes, um, and we can see here the cases are rising. Look at the weekly cases in the United States here. You can see on the most recent update, if I can pull that up here is I believe 149 cases have been reported on the most recent update just in the United States alone. But there is an epicenter. Unfortunately, my state is a hotspot for whooping cough cases. Look at this. On the most recent update, it is close to near 54 cases have been reported on the most recent update. And you can see here, it has been trending higher each year. Look at Pennsylvania. You can see 2024, 2023, 2022 in this uh, reddish color. And look at that. It's trending higher each year. That is concerning. Going back to the national level, you can see here, each year since COVID has started, whooping cough cases have been going up. So there is some changes that I'm going to be making to my website. Not so much changes, but additions. We do have two new sections that are coming soon. Whooping cough, pertussis, will be one of them. And I think it's time that we have a proper section for RSV as well. Uh, I don't know if we have anything in RSV today, but I did. I think I tweeted something about RSV going up over, uh, I believe it was Australia, somewhere where it's winter right now. RSV is rising. I started thinking, you know what, maybe it's time we start a section for RSV on the site as well. So whooping cough and RSV, look for me to be archiving news stories about that. And if you've never been to this website, Iowa COVID Tracker, check it out. It is a great resource 
we're going to be using their data more often in videos, especially on days where we don't have a lot to talk about. So as you just saw there, pertussis cases, whooping cough, rising in the United States and Ohio, Pennsylvania area is a hot spot. We'll take a look at some more states in the coming days. We got a lot more things to get through today. I thought this was interesting. CDC, speaking of vaccinations, which we did a few moments ago, Everyone six months or older who has an immunocompromising condition needs one dose of an updated 2023-2024 COVID-19 vaccine. They're eligible to receive additional doses two months after their previous updated doses. I've had several people, whether it be in the comments section here, not so much the comments section here on YouTube, but I've had several people ask me, or people who know that I'm really up to on um, what's going on, what's going to be the deal with the vaccine for the fall? I don't know much information as of yet. All I can tell you as of right now is, the CDC is coordinating with Moderna and Pfizer. I think it's the CDC, maybe the HHS. It's one of the agencies. They're uh, coordinating, and they're still trying to decide which variant it's going to be on. And quite frankly, that's going to be a tough decision because I'm going to show you the variants. Today. There's a lot of different variants out there. I don't know which one's going to take over or which one's going to be the primary variant come fall. All right, moving on here. Wearing a high-quality mask, I tweeted this out, wearing a high-quality mask is cheaper than a bill for COVID. That's my quote for today. I'm going with it. And it seems a lot of people are saying things. Oh, my, 100 comments. I'm going to have to go through those comments later on. And we'll probably be hitting the old block button for a few of them. So we'll check and see what that's all about. I might even restrict who can comment on it. We shall see. Allergy map for today. 47% of the country is in medium status today. We do have some red in New Hampshire. We also have some red in portions of Nebraska and South Dakota and North Dakota. And then there's a lot of orange. And even places in the orange. If you're an allergy sufferer, hey, you're going to notice it. Especially if it's breezy in your area. Taking a look at what's going on with the air qualities today, and we're going to see much of what we've been seeing a lot of lately. Down in the south, we still have these moderate to even high areas ongoing, but not as bad today. Actually, today we're seeing a little worse conditions in Florida. Fort Myers, we also do see just south of uh, Naples. What is that? Marco Island. You're seeing some high uh, readings today. Mexico, look at this. Wow. So if that wind switches from... The, uh, to the from the south to the north again, where it starts going uh, northward. Yeah, that's going to blow right back into Texas. Not as bad in Texas today, but uh, still some orange and yellows to be found. And not as bad in California today. I did find out, thank you to the person who put the comment yesterday saying there was a small wildfire and that air quality is constantly bad there. Thank you for letting me know of that in uh, about the Los Angeles area. Moving on to heat-related illnesses, they're starting to increase in bits and pieces around the country. I think this map's going to fill in more as we head into the month of June. Don't have anything else in a climate department to talk about today. If you want to follow more about climate, I do have a place where I do just that. It is Climate Data Report. Uh, you can follow that. It is on X. I'm going to be tweeting more stuff daily. We'll see if we can try and grow that Twitter account and, you know, keep people informed. That's important. And we do have a small section at the bottom of my website, datareport.info, where I do add things about climate from time to time. Two things were just added recently, one by me and one by my moderator. All right, taking a look at EMS calls yesterday. Yeah, this is not good. Philadelphia had 861 EMS calls, much busier than what was reported on Monday. You know, the weekend and the holidays, sometimes people, they're not feeling well. I'll, I'll put it off to the next day, and that happens sometimes, and it does result in a backlog or a, a high number of calls, and wow, Let's see what's going on in Montgomery County. I'm pretty sure I just saw a high number. Yep. 17 active calls in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. And look at this. Even cardiac arrest is showing up not once, but twice again today. We've been seeing during our recordings lately, during these videos, you may have noticed it, quite a few cardiac arrest calls lately during the times of us 
doing these videos and 17 calls at 6 30 at night that's really high i'm afraid to even see what chester county shows but uh, chester county's busy as well sick person heart problems abdominal pains falls yeah a whole bunch of different things uh ongoing right now let's take a look at walgreens we may look at a few states here today national positivity rate is 18.6 percent the prior week was 17 and a half percent difference of up 1.1 percent total test 3658 the prior week was 3697 that is up ever so slightly but again taking a look here you can see here there's a lot of states not reporting if every state had testing coming in uh, we could po possibly see this number over 4,000, which would be nice to see. Let's take a look at some of these states. Mississippi, we can never do much for you because you don't have much data. You don't have much in the way of wastewater. There is a wastewater site there right along the Gulf Coast. We need to be looking at it more often, and we don't. I think it's something I need to make a note to myself. We've got to show Mississippi wastewater site. Uh, take a look here. 10% positivity rate for the current week. The prior week was 7.7%. Difference of up 2.3%. Total test, though, is down for COVID. Uh, 10 versus 13. Let's see what's going on in New Mexico. I'm seeing green there. That's usually a good thing. And wow, 13.9% positivity rate this week. 29.5% last week. This is significantly down. It's down by 15.7% total test. 36 versus 44. How about we go now to what is going on in Minnesota, where you are seeing a pretty decent sized rise for COVID positivity. 25.5% this week. The prior week was 20%. That is up by 5.5% with testing upward. 51 versus 35. That indicates that you are seeing a rise in cases. Also possibly seeing a rise is Tennessee. Eh, let's see here. 16 percent positivity rate this week versus 11.8 percent last week difference of up 4.1 percent total test 94 versus 127 testing is down but again i mean the positivity rate in a lot of your surrounding states is rising right now we saw mississippi we can see georgia georgia is 19.4 percent this week 12.7 percent the prior week positivity rates up 6.8 percent testing did come down 139 versus 166 but the positivity rate's high enough i think it's probably a combination of both in states where we see the positivity rate maybe only up one percent and testing's down in that case yes it is the testing let's do one more state how about we go up to new york state and in new york 22.4 percent versus 27.3 percent difference of down 4.9 percent 125 test versus 132. Walgreens would suggest a drop, but when we take a look at New York State in just a couple of moments, you'll see their hospitalizations did actually go up today. Uh, nothing really that I, I don't want to look at any wastewater sites today. I do want to show you this. Again, in relation to the vaccine for the fall, take a look here. I don't know which variant they're actually going to try and target. There's a lot of variants out there. KP.2, 28.5%. KP.3, 12.7%. JN1.7, 9.2%. KP1.1, 9.2%. JN.1, 8.4%. I mean, on and on it goes. Not certain which one's going to be down to buy. And they may target one that, hey, like for example, if KP.3 takes the lead and it goes ahead, Okay, let's target that. As of right now, KP.2 was a candidate for a vaccine dominant, you know, one that they would target. But what's going to happen come fall? We could be at another variant that's dominating and, well, suddenly we're one step behind. And that's been a problem from the get-go with the vaccine. So I don't, I'm not trying to discourage anyone from getting the vaccine. By all means, get your latest update, the booster, if you have not. But just be mindful that... There's always going to be a new variant that pops up, and it's becoming impossible to keep up with that. Uh, let's take a look at this now. We can see here epidemic growth. It is growing in some places, and it is likely growing in some It's still declining in a few places places as well or likely declining so that is uh good to see that it is still doing that influenza a and i do want to update this i have to refresh this see if there was an update no i'm not seeing any sort of an update here but uh here we go for influenza a in wastewater and specifically we're trying to detect maybe some h5n1 or more so influenza a and we can see here in some of these uh higher shades here of like a maroonish color 
or purplish color, we can see here there are some higher places, one of them being above average in New York State. Illinois has several places, Kansas has several places, and there's even a few wastewater sheds in Texas as well. Taking a look at New Jersey today, 69 out of 70 hospitals reported. That's a good thing. 186 people in the hospital, and I want to zoom this in. You can see here, they're not doing any sort of a rapid rise, but more so a bounce around, and every once in a while they bounce higher. Today they bounced up to 186 people in the hospital for COVID, six people on a ventilator, in the ICU, 21 at this time, and 22 discharges at this time as well. And we can actually take a look at case data. We don't do this very often, but I think we should. And I was looking at it earlier today, and I was noting that, yes, their cases are gradually, potentially starting to, you can see here, a week ending on the 25th, they had 740 cases versus what was the prior week uh 650 cases so yes there is a slight rise in cases as well new york state 534 new cases added today and when we take a look at hospitalizations in new york state they had 519 hospitalizations with 43 people in the icu that 519 is higher than the 489 that they reported to end the week last week and we'll have to see what happens again tomorrow they may have another little bump upward tomorrow either way i think they will probably stay above 500 tomorrow if not if they drop lower that would be great but right now we're in that bump in the road that was expected and we'll just have to wait and see what happens for the rest of the summer it's a lot of people saying that it's going to be a bump now and a much bigger rise post fourth of july I'm not going to make any personal predictions. We'll just have to see how things play out. One last thing that I wanted to show you today was this. Colorado did come in today. 88 hospitalizations versus the previous number, which was 85. So a slight increase. Again, a little bump in the road. You can see here it's not that big of a rise in Colorado right now. Alrighty, folks, that does it for today's pandemic update. We'll have another one again tomorrow. I'm going to work on those uh, two new additions to the website later on this evening. Maybe I will show them off tomorrow. RSV and whooping cough, or maybe we'll call it pertussis section, which will be coming later today. I think it's time. We need to give them their own section. I know our list on our site, it's getting oh so long. Want to see my site? It is data report dot info here it is right here you can see the site and you can pretty much look up a majority of the things that we talk about here not everything but when it comes to the studies uh, we do talk about these studies and a whole bunch of other stuff alrighty folks I will see you all again next time give this a thumbs up subscribe down below share this with anyone you know leave your comments down below till I see you again next time stay safe everyone and have a fantastic Wednesday evening Thanks for watching.